Now, one of the most rewarding things about having this channel is seeing new tires get into the sport, especially if it's a young kid. I got a special pattern for you today. I think you're gonna like it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Matt. Thanks for stopping by. Now, not long ago, I got an email from Derek in Missouri, and it was a great email. It was one that just said, hey, I appreciate the videos. I appreciate uh, you putting this information out there. It's, it's great to learn this. And by the way, I just got my two young boys started in a tying. They're eight and 10 years old, and we've been tying a couple of months now. And I love getting emails like this. It kind of warms my heart to see that, you know, we're achieving our mission with helping to get new tires in the sport. So I asked him to send me a picture of anything that they've created and maybe we can tie it up for the channel. So he did. He sent me a picture of his 10 year old son, Ethan's pattern, and uh, he's calling this Ethan's Golden Rocket. Now, granted, this is probably not a trout streamer. I don't think I'm going to be using it in the small tailwaters here in Maryland. But as a smallmouth bass fly or a largemouth bass, yeah, I think this fly is going to work. So I would love it if y'all would do me a favor and leave a comment and let Ethan know what you think about his fly. And if you think this is a wild and crazy looking pattern, just wait till you see his younger brother's fly, the, the pink party fly. We're going to do that one in a couple of weeks. And one other thing before we get into the tie is I think we can all learn a lesson from Ethan that fly tying is supposed to be fun. And I know it can be fun uh, in the hunt for the elusive material to make the perfect fly, the old classic pattern, but it can also be fun to just sit down at the bench with who knows what and come up with any crazy pattern you can dream up. I mean, I've been tying for years, but I still like to sit down and just dream up crazy flies and take them out of the river and see how they do. So Ethan, thank you for reminding us of the lesson that fly tying needs to be fun. And I love your pattern. I think the folks on this channel are gonna like it too. Let's give it a shot. So there it is, Ethan's golden rocket. Isn't that a flashy looking nice streamer? You know the smallmouth bass are gonna have a field day on this guy. Now you can tie this big, I'm sure, very big. This is a size eight and tied on a three X, five X long, whatever you want. This is a 7X long. So I'm going long with this guy. Now, Ethan says we need to use orange thread on this guy. So I'm gonna lay down a base all the way to the start of the bend. Now, it really sounds like Ethan likes a big tail. So we're gonna keep this yellow bucktail. Now, stack it if you want to. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go natural. So I'll just grab the tips, pull out some of the shorter under fur right there, but I'm gonna keep it pretty fat and pretty long. So let's go with the bout right there. Couple wraps to catch this in. Okay, now I'm gonna put a wrap right under it so it doesn't spin around on me. Just kind of lock it in up there. Now I think you have an option here. Do you wanna leave this in, keep a fat underbody, or cut it off and keep a thin underbody? I think you'd go either way. I'm gonna kind of leave it in and then just go with a fatten up my underbody just a little bit right here. So I'll, these are very loose wraps to right up here to where I'm gonna catch off. So a couple tight wraps right there. Now let's snip this excess bucktail. All right. Now I'm gonna put a lot of orange thread on here. In case I want to spin this gold body uh, pretty sparse, you can see some of this orange through it. I think that gives it a pretty cool look. Kind of like the one Ethan tied. So don't worry if you think you're wasting thread here. That was probably just an extra two inches of thread. But it gives me a nice orange underbody. Now the fun stuff. Gold cactus chenille. Look at this. This is some flashy flash. Let's catch a piece of this in. I don't know what it's gonna take you, five or six inches, probably not even that much. So we'll catch this in right here to the back. All right, take my thread back up here. Now, this I think is your preference. If you wanna put open wraps, almost like you'd be palmering it up and show a little bit of that orange through there, I think that's kinda of cool. Or you could put them tight and just have a big thick gold cactus chenille body. I'm gonna kind of leave them a little bit open. Let's see here, because I think this is gonna give me enough 
flash and see a little bit of that orange underneath, I think that's just gonna be kinda of cool. So let's catch this guy off right here. And I'm gonna take my toothbrush, brush this out just a little bit. Maybe a couple more wraps so I don't mess it up, but let's fluff this up just a little right here. There we go, and you can see a little bit of that orange underneath that gold, I think that's sharp. It's a good job Ethan on coming up with that. Now, what you got right there, that's the base. That is Ethan's golden rocket. What you do next, I think it's kind of optional. Now, I'm gonna wrap a hackle on. I'm gonna put a little collar hackle and I'm gonna use Grizzly. This is a Grizzly hen. I think this is gonna look pretty snazzy on here. So let's catch this in. I'm gonna catch it in from the fat side. I want these to be some long fibers. All right, let's snip this little butt end off right here. Now I don't have a whole lot to grab, but I'm only gonna put maybe three or four wraps. Should have probably grabbed my hackle pliers. But, you know, sometimes I'm too lazy to do that. All right, we did it, we pulled it off. Okay, two wraps to lock that in there. Now we got a nice, cool, fuzzy looking head. It almost reminds me of the llama. Remember that pattern we did a couple months ago? Let's get rid of that excess. Now I'm gonna push this back. I want it to be a little bit swept back because I am putting a wing on this guy. Now, Ethan had some kind of fur and uh, random looking white fur is what he said on the top. I think that's kind of snazzy right there. And I think you have a lot of options right here. If you want to put the marabou wing on, you could do that in any color. That would be pretty snazzy. Or, you know, more bucktail. Putting more yellow bucktail. I think that'd look pretty cool. But what I'm doing, I'm getting a little bit crazy here. I just took two yellow saddle hackle feathers and then sandwiched them in between two of the grizzly. And I'm just gonna make this feather wing streamer. I went ahead and glued all four of them together with a little drop of UV resin. I'm gonna catch this guy right there. Let's see if we can do that. Keep it on top. Couple of loose wraps right there. Don't want that to spin on me. It's spinning a little bit, so I'm gonna see if I can back it off and then get it propped up. That was even worse. So how about I just cheat a little bit. Now put a couple of loose wraps right there. Now take a look at it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's see if I can hold what I got. A couple more tight wraps going down. Now I still gotta bend this piece off right there. And I'll need my thick scissors because I'm cutting through some UV resin right there, but it's all good. Now we've got a little nub right there, but that's okay. It's a streamer. We're going to have a big head. So go ahead with this nice big orange, bright, bright orange thread and build your head on it. Yeah, there we go. I think that's going to work. Let's whip finish this guy. So I think Ethan came up with a pretty cool pattern. Pattern that you could tie in all kinds of varieties, get all kinds of variants out of this, and you got a fishable fly. I think the small mouth and uh, warm water fish are really gonna love this thing. So drop a head cement, this thing's ready for the water. So that's it everybody, I appreciate you watching. I'd appreciate it if you leave a comment, tell Ethan what you think about his fly. So that's all everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.